Welcome, let's understand anomaly detection. What are anomalies or outliers? The set of data points that are considerably different than the remainder of the data. Applications would be credit card fraud detection, telecommunication fraud detection, network intrusion detection, and fault detection. Variants of anomaly detection problems. Given a database D for all the data points X belonging to D with anomaly scores greater than the sum threshold D, given the database D, find all the data points X belonging to D which have the top and largest anomaly scores F of X. Given database D containing mostly normal data points with S point X, compute the anomaly score of X with respect to D. Anomaly detection challenges are how many outliers are there in the data? This method is unsupervised. Validation can be quite challenging. Just like that for clustering. So it's like finding a needle in a haystack. Work assumption. There are considerably more normal observations than abnormal observations. General steps are first build a profile of normal behavior. Profile can be patterns or summary statistics for the overall population. Use the normal profile to detect anomalies. Anomalies are observations whose characteristics differ significantly from the normal people. So types of anomaly detection schemes are statistical based scheme, distance based schemes and model based. Let's understand statistical approaches. Assume a parametric model describing the distribution of the data, for example, normal distribution. Then apply a statistical test that depends on data distribution. Parameter of distribution, for example, might be mean or variance, number of expected outliers, a confidence level. Let's understand Grubbs test. Detect outliers in univariate data. Assume data is coming from normal distribution. Then detect one outlier at a time and remove the outlier and repeat the same. Pick H0 where there is no outlier in the data. HA there is at least one outlier. Then for Grebs test statistic G would be maximum of absolute value of X minus X bar by S. Reject H0 if G is greater than the value calculated using this formula. Take a look at this formula. Okay. Statistical based likelihood approach. Assume the data set D contains samples from a mixture of two probability distribution, where M is majority distribution and A is anomalous distribution. Then the general approach is initially assume all the data points belong to M. Then let LTD be the log likelihood of D at time T. For each point XT that belongs to M, move it to A. Then let L of T plus 1 of D be the new log likelihood. Then compute the difference delta which is equal to LD of T minus the new value LT plus 1 of D. If delta is greater than some threshold C, then xt is declared as an anomaly and moved permanently from m to a. What are the limitations of statistical approaches? Limitations are most of the tests are for single attribute. In many cases, data distribution may, no, may not be known. For high dimensional data, it might become difficult to estimate the true distribution. So we use distance based approaches. Data here is represented as a vector for features. Three major approaches are nearest neighbor based, density based and cluster based. Let's understand nearest neighbor based approach. Approach here is compute the distance between every pair of data points. Then there are various ways to define outliers. Data points for which there are fewer than p neighboring points within this density. The top n data points whose distance to the kth nearest neighbor is greatest. Then the top n data points whose average distance to the kth 
nearest neighbor is greatest. To understand density-based LOF approach, for each point here, compute the distance of its local neighborhood. Then compute local outlier factor LOF of a sample P as the average of ratios of the density of the sample P and the density of its nearest neighbors. Then outliers are points with largest LOF values. To understand clustering based method, the basic idea here is cluster the data into, da into groups of different density, then choose points in small cluster as candidate outliers. Compute the distance between candidate points and non candidate clusters. If candidate points are far from all other non candidate points, then they are the outliers. Advantages of this method are there is no need for supervision. Easily adaptable to online or incremental mode, suitable for anomaly detection from temporal data. Drawbacks are these are computationally expensive. Using indexing structures such as KD tree, R star tree may elevate the problem. If normal points do not create any clusters, the techniques may fail. In high dimensional spaces, data sparse and distances between any two data records may become quite similar. So clustering algorithms may not give any meaning clusters. So at the end of this presentation, we understood anomaly detection in data mining and we briefly discussed the types of anomaly detection and their merits and demerits. That completes our tutorial. Further, pick up any other tutorial of your choice and browse through it. For the help, visit us at www.dataminingtools.net.